Okay, now I want to talk about plugins in IntelliJ IDEA. Plugins really give you the ability to kind of extend IntelliJ and add some new functionality to it. And we already saw this when we installed the Material Theme plugin for IntelliJ. So the way we do this is we get to IntelliJ here and we go to Preferences or the Keyboard Command Shortcut Command Comma and we go into the plugin section. So we could search from here. We can also click on this Browse Repositories and we could search from here as well. From here we could look at specific categories and just kind of browse around. We can also sort by downloads, ratings, or last updated. So if I wanted to see what were the most popular downloads here, I can click downloads. And if I go to the top of the list, you'll see 6.8 million downloads for the Scala language plugin. And so I always look at number of downloads and how long ago it was updated. So this was one week ago. If I'm comparing plugins, I always look at kind of ratings, downloads, and when the last time somebody updated it. Because if it was three years ago and it's kind of a technology that needs to be updated, then that doesn't do me very well. So I want to take a look at some of the plugins that we can go ahead and install. And I'm going to show you a few of the ones that I'm going to install myself. So one of them is the Markdown Navigator. It just helps with being able to read Markdown and get a preview of it in line. So as you're typing out your Markdown, you can see what it's going to look like. This is especially helpful for me because I do a lot of my source code control on GitHub. And with the README file, I want to make sure that it's properly formatted correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. So you could restart this, but we're just going to install a few of these before we go ahead and restart this. If we start to go down, another big one is the Lombok plugin. Again, if you're new to Java, that's fine. This really helps with kind of taking down some of the verbosity of the Java language and, and really just adding some, some nice annotations that we can add to our classes. Now, if you ever see a plugin like this and you're not really sure what it does, if you come down here, you can usually find a plugin homepage and then get some more information about it. So I'm going to install that one as well. What else do we got here? Kotlin, we already have that installed, but it looks like there is an update, so we can update that. All right, and the rest of these I'm just going to search for. So I know I need a Docker one. There's a Docker integration. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Let's see, we already did the material theme. One that we'll probably use at some point is Gradle. So there's a few different Gradle ones. So the, again, here, this is where you might want to sort by downloads. Here's the biggest one. Nope, let's go search again. Search by name. Huh, I wonder what's going on there. All right, so I think this is, so this was four years ago, the dependencies helper. And then this is the view. This is probably the one I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Again, don't worry about it. We're going to briefly talk about Java build tools at some point, but don't worry about that now. Another one, if you're using the, the Ultimate Edition and you're using source code control, the .ignore plugin is a pretty good one to have as well. So I'm going to install that. So that's all I'm going to do for now. Again, you should probably go through and look, look at the list of plugins. Uh, again, maybe you're doing some other development, like I do a lot of Angular development now too, so all of the Angular plugins as well as some of the live template plugins for like Angular, Angular Material, Bootstrap, etc., those are nice to have. So it really just depends what else you're working on. So go through, look for some plugins, see if they'll kind of help you out. Once you install them here, we'll want to restart this and, uh, to, to make those changes uh, active. So with that, that kind of ends plugins. We'll go ahead and move on.